Hello everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be uh, working on something for our survival series, but this tutorial uh, will be, you can use it for just about anything. Um, so let's press play. I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing first. We're going to be creating this highlight material that shows up on the objects as we uh, get within range to pick them up. Um, really, really simple tutorial. Uh, shouldn't take more than sort of 10 minutes. Uh, to put together and uh, then we're going to use that in our next episode for this survival series um, so let's begin and obviously I already have one but we'll, we'll create a new one so let's do material we'll call this uh, M now mine's called interact highlight um, I'm just going to call it interact tutorial for this one but um, obviously call yours whatever you want uh, open it up and you should be met with a blank material and all we're going to do is we're going to click on the actual material node and we're going to change this from surface to post process. You can leave it as uh, default lit and opaque. That's absolutely fine. Um, but let's carry on. So it's quite a lengthy bit of code to get this working correctly. Um, so just follow along, but just in sh trust me that it should be ready to go for the next episode so we're going to start off by getting a scene texture and the wrong scene texture uh, we want to sorry we want a scene texel size my apologies scene texel size that's why I wasn't getting what I wanted uh, and then we can hold down s and click to get a scalar parameter and we're going to call this outline uh, width like so I will set this to one as a default but if you create a material instance you might be able to change that Hold down M to get a multiply and click and plug those both into that multiply. We're probably going to need a lot of space, just FYI. Uh, so we're going to need two masks now. Uh, so we want a component mask. And for the first one, we want R. And if we copy and paste that, we'll swap that second one over to a G. Uh, and then we just want to hold down one and click to get a constant. And we can plug that multiply into the R and into the G. Um, next thing we want is an append like so uh, oh. and we're going to want two of these there we go plug this one into B and this one into A it doesn't really matter they're both just gonna do what they got to do so that's fine uh, then we want to get a screen position like so uh, you can obviously do this a lot neater mine's not very neat at the moment uh, it shouldn't matter but um, obviously I know some people hate the spaghetti code uh, which is fine hold down a uh, a couple of times to get two ads um, and we also need to get a couple of subtracts like so um, Keep them in this order just so we kind of know what's going where. Uh, there we go. And this append can go into A and into B of this one. And this one can go into the, it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter because they're just getting added together and subtract, subtracted. Um, but we're going to get the screen position and plug that into here and into here sorry the viewport UV my apologies uh, and that just get, gets plugged into the others so you should have something that looks very messy but like this once you're done um, let's pull that back a bit we still need a hell of a lot more so next we want to get now we want our scene textures if I can type it out right scene texture and set this from scene color in the details panel on the left hand side and we want that to all be custom depth we want them all to be custom depth and we want four of them it's easy to change the first one and then just copy and paste and it is to change each individually but whatever works for you guys and then just plug them up like this so they're all in a nice little row uh, and then we're just going to plug each one of these into that so a uh, add this addition into one the subtract into another the other addition and the other subtract um, okay, 
now we need to get another subtract node. We need this will be copied on both ends. So make sure to have them like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the color of both and subtract them from one another. There we go. And that should be that. Then we want to get uh, another mask. And uh, both of these now will be R. So from all these calculations, we want to take the R of both. Uh, like so. Oh. Uh, then we want a scalar, and we're going to call this threshold. Now, I always typically set this quite high, so I'm going to go for a 10. Uh, and then we want to hold down D a couple of times to get divides. And um, we want the threshold to go into the B of both of these divides, because we're dividing whatever this is by our threshold. There we go. Um, then we need a couple of funky um, oh, um, nodes. We want an ABS. Like so, plug those in, uh, and then we also want to get uh, a floor so that we get a whole number. Uh, we don't want to be left with like 0.25 or any of that stuff, we, we just want a nice whole number. Um, and then we're going to need a little bit more space. We want to take these two floors and we want to add them together. We can take that one. This one needs to. It does again. It doesn't matter, but just for the sake of neat, uh, neatness, or we'll plug them in an order like that. Uh, and then we're going to get a clamp, like so. <coughs> and we're going to leave the clamp as is, zero to one. Uh, and then we just need to hold down L and get a lup. Now this lup is the final node, but we aren't quite finished yet. Now this is the alpha of the channel. Um, and then we want to get a, a three like so, and we're going to make it white like that. And we're going to get the mask and component mask. And we want all three channels ticked and we're going to plug that into the B. Now we can copy and paste this and plug this into the A uh, because we just need one more thing and that is a, another scene texture node here and we're going to change this one to post process input zero and after doing all of that you should uh, end up with um, the same result that I have uh, within my um, my scene that I've got now. Oh gosh! And just to check that you are getting the same result, what we're going to do is to test this. We're going to go into here. We're going to find our post process volume, which I think is this here. It is, and we're going to change out that material. Bear with me. If I can find, I might have to search for it. Post. Oh, there we go. Post process material. Oh, no. Uh, what's this one here? Did I drag another one into the scene? Maybe I did. Ah, I did. That would explain a lot. Okay, so we have two post process volumes. I shouldn't really have two, but there we go. Um, so in our second one, here you can see we have our original interact highlight, but this time we're going to go uh, interact tutorial. And we're just going to save everything so that we know everything's up to date and applied. It might take a couple of seconds. There we go. And then we'll just give it a test and see if, oh, there we go. We've got our highlights material there. And then we've got another one here and so on and so forth. There we go. So uh, as you can see, that's the result you get. You get this lovely little white line around your objects and uh, it tells us that we can pick up that item. Uh, in the next episode, obviously we'll be continuing on with our survival series. We're going to actually apply um, the code to make the actual outline show up and disappear. 
Um, so keep an eye out for that, and then we can get onto the nitty gritty of actually picking up items, adding them to a uh, uh, an inventory, and then we can go from there to create craftables and building stuff. So we are we are getting there. Uh, but hopefully you found this um, video useful, whether you're following on from the survival series or if you are just um, coming across this on YouTube because you wanted something similar. Hopefully you found this useful and um, in the next, uh, and I'll, hopefully you will subscribe. <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting my foot in my mouth now. Weird. Um, but thank you so much guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you found it useful. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's free to do. You can always change your mind online. And I will see you in the next episode. Much love. Take care. Bye.